Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another election prediction video. This time we have the governor of Michigan, Gretchen Whitmer, up against former President Donald Trump. So looking at this poll, this hypothetical, Whitmer is at 36, Trump's at 41. But there's a lot of undecideds here that it's probably just due to name ID that she's down here. It, it's it, No, I'll just straight up say I do believe it's just straight up name ID because, uh, when you do swing state polling and you actually inform the voter what type of candidate Gretchen Whitmer is, who she's a governor, like of what state, we saw in the Biden internal polls when they informed the voters that Whitmer was pretty much winning in most of these swing states here by a quite a decent margin, especially in the Rust Belt. So with that name ID issue aside, I expect her to be leading Trump in the popular vote probably by about 4%, honestly. I think she would be quite favored to beat him. I think she's probably one of the best candidates to run. The best candidate overall is, is Michelle Obama. This poll has her up by 11 against Trump. I don't think she would win by that margin, but I do think she's probably the best candidate here. And that's probably just due to name ID that she's at 50 while the others are so low, like Newsom Whitmer and Bashir. But uh, again, I think Gretchen Whitmer would be a very solid candidate, probably the second best candidate to go against Donald Trump in an election. So let's just get right into this. So let's start off the first let me center of the map again. I'll just start off the first few states here as we're just ranking them. But um, again, I think Whitmer, she would do well in the Rust Belt states. I think she would easily carry her home state of Michigan, which would be a huge plus for the Democrats. It takes that swing state off the board. Maybe they don't have to invest as much time in there because they're running someone from that home state that's very well liked. And maybe Trump would even forego Michigan's electoral votes and decide, well, it's not worth it to invest energy there because Whitmer's going to win it anyway. But uh, let's just get right into this as I just set up these last few. All right, starting off with the state of Ohio, I really do think Whitmer would be able to bring the state below 10% for uh, Trump. But she wouldn't win it, but she would make it at least likely Republican, and that'll probably be enough for Sherrod Brown to win in his Senate race. He wouldn't have to get as much ticket splitters as he would if it was an over 10% Trump victory. The state of Iowa, Iowa's a weird state. Again, Iowa could be mad that they're no longer the first state to vote in the Democratic primary. They could hold that against the Democrats. But I think Whitmer, being from the Rust Belt herself, herself, I think she would uh, honestly do a lot better than most Democrats in the state of Iowa. So I think she'll at least bring it down to a likely Republican victory. So I have Ohio going to Trump by 8, and Iowa going to Trump by about 9 here. So under 10%. Florida and Texas, I think these states remain as likely Republican states. I think Trump is pretty fortified in these two states, and I think Whitmer really wouldn't bother campaigning in those two states because she's going to focus on the rest of these swing states here that are actually in reach. New Mexico and Virginia, I would probably put New Mexico and Virginia as about likely blue. I think Whitmer wins each of these states by about nine percentage points against Donald Trump, so just under a safe margin. Again, there will be some sort of shift to Trump in both these states, I expect, even with a new candidate here, I think. We'll see a bit of a shift here. In the Northeast, in Maine and New Hampshire, I think Whitmer would be very favored in both these two states. And I also even think Maine second would drop down to likely Republican, giving Jared Golden a very good chance at winning because it's under 10% here. And that's a House Democrat in Maine second. So that's important for Democratic control of the House. Moving on to Nebraska's second, I think she'd be extremely favored in this district. I think she's the right type of candidate to appeal to the suburban district. And uh, she'll keep that suburban trend going towards Democrats, especially in this one. In Michigan, her own home state, she's would be very ahead here. Polls had her at like uh, five to six points in her own state against Michigan. So I think Trump really has no shot at winning Michigan against Gretchen Whitmer. And that would also mean Minnesota is quite fortified as well. I think she would pretty easily win the state of Minnesota by seven points, a little bit higher than the, her Michigan win of six. Moving on to North Carolina and Georgia, I think even the uh, Biden internal polls, they say Whitmer would be at 49.7%. I'm not sure what the Trump total is. It's probably a direct head-to-head, -head, and that would mean Trump's up narrowly in these two states. So she can shift that by campaigning here. But for now, I'm going to put these both these two states as tilt Republican. 
But uh, she could change things, especially if she picks Roy Cooper as her VP. Then we could very well see North Carolina and Georgia go blue against Donald Trump. Again, Trump, he's not that much, he's not that popular. He's not that much popular than Joe Biden, even. He's only a few points less unfavorable than Biden is at this point. So Trump's not this unstoppable juggernaut that'll smash every Democrat into pieces. He's not invincible. He's a fairly weak candidate, and that's why Democrats should really hope that Biden's out of the race. But I don't know if he is out of the race at this point at the time of recording this video, because it's probably about a week ago when I recorded this, because I like to schedule them in advance. But uh, again, I just think if Democrats ran anyone else besides Biden, they would have a very good shot at winning against Trump just due to Trump's low favorability ratings. So moving on to the next few states, Nevada and Arizona, I think Arizona would go to the Whitmer by over, I would say, a 1.5% margin or so. So that would be a lean blue margin. Well, Nevada would be a lot closer just because I do think Nevada is slightly trending Republican at this point. It's a less college-educated state. Uh, Trump's no taxes on tips policy could really appeal well to a lot of service workers in the state of Nevada. But uh, so far, I think Whitmer would still win this state, but only by a tilt of blue margin or so. Now we're going into Wisconsin and Pennsylvania, and I think Whitmer would be quite favored to win both these states. And uh, especially in Wisconsin, Biden's internal poll said she was very favored to win in Wisconsin. I think it might even had her at likely blue, but I don't think she would win by that margin. I think Wisconsin would still be a pretty close state. I think she'd be able to win Wisconsin by about one percentage points against Donald Trump, maybe even 1.5. I would say 1.5. It seems about right to me. So I think she would be able to win in Wisconsin. Still, Trump still has a path of victory with Pennsylvania. He could just barely get to that 270 margin. But I think Whitmer would be in a very good spot to win this state, considering she is from the Rust Belt. She would have that good Rust Belt appeal, that populist appeal as well would be with her. She was able to win in a landslide in Michigan before because of that. And just because of Trump's general unpopularity overall with the American populace, I think that Whitmer would be able to win in the state of Pennsylvania as well. So I think this translates to a Whitmer popular vote victory of about 3.5% this map. So I think she's probably one of the better candidates for the Democrats to run. And I really think they should consider her if Biden's off the ticket. So that's my prediction. If it was Whitmer versus Trump, let me know in the comments section down below if you agreed or disagree with this population, what states you would change, any video recommendation ideas. Other than that, uh, if you're new to this channel, I'd really appreciate if you were to subscribe. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.